morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us on another episode of For Your Eyes Only, the only place where you can learn a little bit about your eyes and have a little fun at the same time. My name's Harbir. We're coming to you again from High Street Eye Care. Before I go any further, of course, let me introduce to you my partner in crime, Dr. Einstein. Dr. E, you doing okay over there? Hey. So as you can see, Dr. Einstein's been noticing some changes in his eyes lately. In particular, he's mentioned something kind of like this. When he's looking at a bright blue sky or a bright wall, he's noticing some opaque little dots and lines floating around in his vision. Now that's something that a lot of patients will actually mention to us when they come into the office. So we decided today we're going to start part one of a discussion on what we simply call floaters. To fully understand why floaters develop, we're going to do a quick anatomy lesson. We're going to go over to Dr. Einstein here. He'll show us a little bit on our eye model. So as we know, at the front of the eye we have the cornea, right behind that is the pupil and the lens, and at the back of the eye we have the retina, which is shown here by this thin yellow surface. And in the middle we have a big ball of gel, which is called the vitreous. So the vitreous is composed mostly of water, about 99%, and the other 1% is collagen or just protein. And the first type of floater we're going to talk about today, the normal kind we can call it, is when the collagen or the protein starts to clump together and then just happens to float throughout the vitreous. These kinds of clumps or floaters are actually present in everybody's eyes, but not everybody notices them. It really depends on where they're located. If they're more central, you're more likely to notice them. If they're bigger, of course, you're more likely to notice them. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, if you're looking at a bright wall or a blue sky, there's a lot more light coming in and more likely to cast a shadow on the retina and of course become a lot more noticeable as well. So these types of floaters are mostly harmless and benign. They're not going to cause any kind of danger to anybody's vision. They are a little annoying, but if we leave them alone, the brain does a pretty good job of phasing them out so we don't notice them all the time. Alright, so that's all for part one of our discussion on floaters. If you have any other questions about this topic or any other topics, feel free to reach out. You can catch us on Twitter. Here are our Twitter handles again. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching another episode of For Your Eyes Only. We'll see you next time. I think that went pretty well, don't you, Dr. E? Are you?